Some say it was only a matter of time before Bitcoin goes to the moon. I'm Alex, CEO of BitMEX. At BitMEX, we have always been true believers in Bitcoin. So we started very early to become contributors to the Bitcoin core development. Five years ago, we invented the Bitcoin Perpetual Swap, a product with by far the highest trading volume in crypto. Not everything is about going with trends and fancy stuff. We'd rather want to bring change and innovation on a bigger scale. We think actions speak louder than tweets, and what could be cooler action than supporting the goal of creating a new territorial freedom? When Satoshi released the white paper, at that time it might have felt like a small step forward for a single use case. But what was set in motion there turned out to be a giant leap forward for mankind. In order for crypto to become mainstream and see further adoption in multiple sectors all around the globe, we need to encourage curiosity. Because curiosity brings knowledge, and knowledge has the power to change. Maybe even change the world to be a fairer and better place, especially in global finance. This is why we're here, to unbreak finance. If you ain't first, you're last. Come and get it. Next time when I get asked, hey Alex, where do you see Bitcoin end of the year? I can now say with confidence, Bitcoin will be on the moon. Ist nicht gut als Frage. Yeah. A lot of people think it's only a matter of time until Bitcoin goes to the moon, which got us thinking, why shouldn't we be the first to place one there? Others have said it was too difficult. We refer those people to the words of John F. Kennedy, which ring as true today as they did nearly 60 years ago. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Because that goal will serve to organize and measure the best of our energies and skills. Because that challenge is one that we are willing to accept, one we are unwilling to postpone, and one which we intend to win. This mission underscores not only the aspirations and ingenuity of BitMEX and our research teams, but those of the entire crypto industry as well. The foundation we lay together with our partners at Astrobotic represents a new era of innovation and groundbreaking achievement that transcends industry from aerospace to finance. Further, the asset will remain fixed in the outer reaches of our universe for all eternity a steady reminder of how far humanity can reach with the right stuff. That is, unless one of you comes and gets it. It used to be that folks would toss a coin into a fountain or a well and make a wish, leaving their desires to chance or fate. But these are modern times. We will deliver Bitcoin to the moon, not as a token offering from profits, but as a mere tribute to the idea that our destiny is not predetermined that our achievements are ours for the taking, which is why we choose to go to the moon with Bitcoin. So Jeff, when does the mission start? Uh, I believe it's slated for later this year, uh, uh, fourth quarter. Fourth quarter. So fourth quarter, we are literally sending Bitcoin to the moon. Sorry, Elon. Bitcoin's doing it first. So we're, we're joined by a, a special guest here, uh, John Thornton, CEO of Astrobotics, um, who is running the lunar mission to put Bitcoin on the moon. John, are you with us? Yes, I am. Thanks for having me today. Thank you for being here. Tell us about the mission. Yeah, so I'm sitting here in our, our high bay with the spacecraft right behind us. So, so yes, literally Bitcoin is going to the moon. Um, this is our cargo ship. This is what will take payloads up to the surface and, and Bitcoin will, will be along with it. Uh, what we do is we build the lander. Uh, we went and bought a launch vehicle, which is uh, a, an upgraded uh, Atlas V called Vulcan that's going to fly from Florida and send this vehicle right behind me up to the surface of the moon. We're going to uh, soft land down on that surface, um, nice, flat, safe landing spot on our first mission. Uh, and that's when, uh, when things will deploy and we'll get all kinds of pictures and images back from the surface of the moon. And the goal here at Astrobotic is all about making space accessible to the world. Um, it's, uh, it, 
the moon is a place that only three nations have ever landed, and they've all been superpowers. And I'm pleased to say with this, uh, with this cargo uh, going to the surface of the moon, with Bitcoin going to the moon, that Bitcoin nation will be joining the echelon of, of nations to land on the surface of the moon. Um, so we're incredibly excited uh, to, to, be, uh, to be flying this payload to the surface um, and, uh, and uh, can't, can't wait for, for the mission uh, coming up uh, very, very soon. And we're, we're really excited to open access to the surface, make it regular, routine, affordable flights um, for, for many, many, many people all around the world to access the moon uh, and use the riches of the moon for, for the future of space exploration. Things like the water at the poles of the moon that can be turned into walk, rocket fuel um, could be uh, the fuel that, that powers the, the uh, exploration and development of our solar system. Um, so the moon could, could truly become a gas station and a, and a refuel station for, for the whole future of, of humanity. And it all starts with this first mission, this first commercial mission to go back to the moon. And it will be uh, among the first missions to go back to the moon in nearly 50 years since the uh, Apollo era. And now uh, with this announcement, Bitcoin will be along for the ride and will land on the surface in, in due time. Amazing. Can we put up a round of applause for Astrobotics and John?